Naomi, can you hear in the headphones? Okay, cool. Am I going to be able to? Oh, no, I can hear my own voice. You hear this? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's coming through. Do you not like to hear your own voice, Naomi? Yeah, can you turn the monitor off on my mic? Nope. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how. All right, it's fine. You know, you're going to have to learn to love yourself in the next 75 minutes. He was like, yeah, I know how to use the roadcaster. Don't change anything. <laughs> yeah, you learn to accept it. That's how. Okay, c- fine. <laughs> That's fine by me. Good. Then it's settled. All right, we're going to play our theme song and dance now. Yowza. Yowza. It's another week back at the Quora Farm with your hosts, Alex and Jeremy. Hello. What's up? This is our fourth recording in two days. That's right. We're feeling fresh and we're looking good. It's season four of Quarators, America's favorite Quora-based podcast, live at Jeremy's house where Jeremy makes the rules. Now, at the start of the show, Alex is going to make the rule that Jeremy's going to close the window before another ambulance no, goes by. No, this is good. We yeah. no, <laughs> it's good. It's not it's good. good. Every time we do it, a guy with a lawnmower passes. Nope, we're going to be clear. It's never going to work out. Okay, fine, whatever. We're going to leave it open until an ambulance <laughs> Jeremy passes. Jeremy makes the rules. Jeremy makes the rules. It's an ambulance podcast. Well, if you hear an ambulance in your headphones, it's not coming from us. It's your trip to the hospital when your heart stops at the announcement of this thrilling guest, and that is Comedy's own Naomi Caravani. Naomi? Thank you for having me. This is really exciting. You're sending our listeners to the hospital. What do you think about that? Uh, Yeah, that's my usual effect on people. You love it. (laughs) You're glowing. These people are sick. (laughs) They got to go to hell. (laughs) Well, we'll have to see what happens with them. <laughs> now, Naomi, you are familiar with Quora.com? Yes. Yes. Good. I have Googled. It has come up as a result, um, even though I did not look for it. But You know, a lot of people Google Quora, but I wonder if anybody Quora's what is Google. That's right. Do you want to pull it up? What um, do you want me to Quora? I want you to type into Quora what is Google and see uh, if anybody has typed it. Yeah, they say Quora has come when you're least expecting for them. That's true. They're like blessing. What do you want me to literally search? What is Google? Yeah. What is Google? Put it Uh, in. Okay. Nobody has ever asked. No one has. What is Google AdWords? What is Google? 100 answers. I found it. And then someone posted a picture of a woman's boobs. (laughs) Well, it's three women, but the bustiest one is representing the O's. And she's also the only one who didn't wear a Google t-shirt. So it's. She's really just bringing to the table what she was born with. Good so that's for what her. Google is. Yes. Something to do with breasts. This would be hilarious if I like set this up and I was like, well, I want to get to the boobs question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You knew it was going to be there. I'm going to ask you, what is Google? This, this was posted by Ichabon Homie? No, it's not. That's that my awesome. gamer tag. My adult gamer tag that I made because my childish one had my real name in it and it was hard for people to spell. Anyway, that sucks. We're not talking about that. We're back on Quora. All right, Naomi, you know all about the show, so we can get right into it. Let's get into it. We're going to start with our weekly advice segment, which again is a cynical ploy to attract new listeners. And we're going back to the well uh, and our most dynamic one yet. And that is, of course, the weekly segment tips for them. Tips for them. Do you have any tips for non-binary people? Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I got tips for men locked and loaded. Tips for non-binary people, I guess. uh, You know, where uh, hello my name is uh, or hello my pronouns are. Get a sticker like that. Pronoun name tag? Yeah, pronoun name tag. Pronoun name tag? I, some people aren't going to love to wear the name tag, but I think it's kind of fun. What about a pronoun tattoo? Ooh. Pronoun tattoo, A, I think clear, clears up a lot of things, but B, like really locks you in if you want to swap later. Yeah. Because well, then you got to, I mean, you could try to turn it into like yeah. a, I don't know, like a trash bag or something. If I just you thought, force people to get the tattoo, it gets a little holocausty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they them a, number. Yeah. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you are more than just your number. I tried to think of a normal tattoo, and the first thing I thought of was trash bag. 
What? Yeah. A ben, trash ben Wasserman bag? has a trash bag on his arm. And uh, I, it's the first thing I think of when I think tattoo now. Huh. And it looked painful. It's a dark black bag. Oh, so yeah. They got to, like, color that in. So I guess our tip for non-binary people today is, like, get a trash bag tattoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think uh, I think uh, most people are defaulting to they them anyways because when somebody's just like a little vague or a little ambiguous, mm. you're just like yeah, that's a they them. So you are legion, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Keep keep that up. Um, okay, so yeah, either get a um, a name tag or tattoo yourself. Sure. And that sounds pretty rock and roll to me. And that's going to be tips for yeah. them this and, week. And uh, check out Mad Men. That's yeah. a good show. People oh, are absolutely. watching it again. If you're non-binary, check out Mad Men. Yeah. Don I, Draper. I don't think about that show at all. You'll understand that when you watch Mad Men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like you should always introduce yourself with the way you would uh, explain yourself to your grandparents yeah. if you're non-binary. <laughs> absolutely. My so just be like, I'm a sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good boy around town. <laughs> I can help with the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Cool. Well, we got some good questions for you. These are going to be. Uh, 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 we can. T- we wanted to play to like every guest' comedic strengths, and uh, using your charisma, we <laughs> thought that this week's theme should be feats of cunning. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm hoping you can maybe apply your street knowledge to these questions. But before we get into that, do what you feel like you-, you have a lot of street knowledge, Naomi? No. No. Um- <laughs> I would say, yeah, I'm more like uh, historical knowledge. Okay. Okay. That's, that's my thing. Sure. Well, you were a teacher. Yeah, yeah. So had... Cobblestone roads yeah, knowledge. You could say that. <laughs> yeah. Because it's a street. Yeah, it's like a yeah. street. I got you. Um, but old. Pay no <laughs> mind to him. <laughs> I guess what he's saying is you have cobblestone road knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Um, as a that te- is what I said. As a teacher, do you ever did you pick up any streetwise skills that way? Uh, you mean like uh, things ever that I could a apply? Kid? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you ever have to do that? Because it's not your fault if you had to. Uh, if I had to hit a kid, I mean, I definitely thought about it, but <laughs> never did it. Okay. okay, interesting. So it's not like prison rules there. Absolutely not. No, I don't think bad. for the teachers. No, yeah, you got to find the, the smallest, students. weakest kid on your first day as a teacher and beat them up so they yeah. know to respect you and do their homework. I would say that's the biggest challenge of being a teacher. It's like, how do you keep your hands to yourself? That's what at least, I mean. If that's not the case, then like I have a lot of teachers who need to apologize to me because that's what they all told me every day. Right. <laughs> every year they'd beat me up and they'd be like, "It's part of the rules of the prison system here." Yeah, it's before well, you got all big and strong. It is before I got all big and strong, which I now am. I've seen a audio l- listeners do not look at the video. Do not look at the video. Do not look at how beautiful Jeremy is. Um, I've seen a lot of fight videos circulated Sick. on like Twitter. Like if you go on like uh, like accounts that are just like the fight zone or whatever, mm. there's always one that's like this teacher was disrespected. Do you approve of him? And then it's a video of a teacher just like wailing on a kid. I had a teacher. Yeah. I had a gym teacher who got fired for fighting a kid. Really? Yeah, and he called wow. him the N word. That's Ooh. usually what you it is. You can look that up. And then it's like, well, agreed, you're not supposed to do that. But he got fired for saying he got the fired. N-word, not hitting yes. a kid, probably. But there was a, um, a, a, like a change.org thing to bring him back. Oh, wow. Because they felt that it was a justified use. Of the N-word? I disagreed. I didn't sign it. I wasn't there anymore. We also all had to call him Coach. He was like one of those teachers. Yeah. Who was was like, he I'm also black? No. <laughs> okay. He was oh, okay. a white guy. What is the justified use of the word? Well, okay. Did he break the protective glass first? I don't think that he should have said it, to be clear. <laughs> so before I explain it, that's just my, I don't think it's right. But what happened was there was this kid who was like being bad in the class and he, and the teacher was like, got up in his face. He like, was what? quoting Huckleberry Finn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was like, what do you want me to do? Call you this? Call you this? All right, then fine. And it's like, uh, that's not what he, I don't think he wanted you to do that. Uh, it seemed like he was looking to. So anyway, thanks for like, listening. Hypothetically, if I said this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the videos I'm seeing are usually student calls teacher the N-word, a black teacher, uh-huh. and then the black teacher's like, well, I know they're a student, but I think I can fight them in <laughs> pop, according to pop culture rules. Yeah. And then online you discuss if you thought it was okay to fight them or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a lot of that very dependent on the grade <laughs> yeah. from what I've seen. This is on the We Everybody Votes channel where you vote yeah. on if the teacher should beat up the kid. In the fight zone, you make the rules. 
But at Jeremy's house, Jeremy makes some rules. That's right. So. And the rule is that we should read some Quora questions. All right, we'll begin the, the show. What did we ask last week, Jeremy? All right, so last week was, for us, one hour ago. Uh-huh. When Maddie Smith asked, uh, if you lose weight as a woman, is there a way to naturally make your boobs more perky? Now, this has no answers yet. Right, so because it's been an hour. Yeah. So I guess we're just asking Naomi directly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say you drop a lot of weight. <laughs> What do you do boob-wise? Oh. Yeah, you get those chicken cutlets. You, you <laughs> stick them in your bra. That's there all. There you go. Yeah, um, yeah I guess push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. I don't know. We could send that to Maddie. You can join the Marines. Was this Maddie Smith's problem? I mean, who's she to say? She said it wasn't specifically her problem, but she came up with it really fast in a way that <laughs> kind of implied it was something she ooh, knew about. Ooh, I know. Get pregnant. Oh. There you go. That's a great idea. It's, a, it's so easy to do. It's a real thing for boobs. My cat is sniffing your glasses. Is that all right? Is that okay? <laughs> is, is, he gonna, is that bad for you if he does that? No, oh, he's that's leaving. fine. All right. That's fine. That Some will, people are allergic, so I don't want them to like, you know... As long as he doesn't Die. try them on and be like, whoa, I can't see anything. Or the opposite. That'd <laughs> you, be really scary for me if suddenly he had great vision. Mm, you can't pull those off, Milo. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not watching the YouTube, the cat is not on it. You're not missing anything. No, yeah, he, doesn't, he doesn't like being on camera. Anyway, get pregnant. Easy. Easy. Next question. Done. Let's start the show. Welcome to the quiz course, our politics segment. Okay, this, but I'm trying to remember which one it is. Yo, I got this soundboard down. <laughs> I will never label it. I've bought the labels and they're in my bag and I'm still never going to label it. <laughs> uh, Naomi, you're somewhat of a uh, great mind. Would you disagree? No, I would not disagree with that. Okay, good. Well, this is going to test you with your knowledge of the day. So these mm -hmm. are today's top political questions. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, what do we have in the docket here? Yeah, sorry to, to put you on the fire so quickly, but these are some big politics questions such as, conservatives, I have absolutely no respect for you, your sick self-righteousness, or your pull-yourself-up-by-your-bootstraps cult of idiocy plaguing America. What do you think about that? Who are they talking to? Conservatives. conservatives. Oh, conservatives. <laughs> it's a oh, comma. Okay. After <laughs> we should clarify. <laughs> so I guess I thought it, it was a message from conservatives. It's not to you, but I guess what do you think about that? As uh, conservatives calling me an idiot? No, this is too conservative. This is like your best friend. Okay, I get it. It's like at the, at the <laughs> cookout going over to the conservative side of the cookout, which every cookout has. And yeah. then telling them that they don't respect them or they're picking, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, cult of idiocy, playing like America. And then you're like, you would have to respond. The question is, what do you think about that? What do you that? think about that? What do you think about that? Wow. This is a very unusual core question. It's not like looking for knowledge. It's just no. like, it's just trying to piss people off. It's a feat of cunning. <laughs> <laughs> I think we could agree. I think this is a very loose theme that you guys are <laughs> what are you going No, no, no. <laughs> They're all feats of cunning. We come up with the theme first and we find 10 perfect questions. Somebody put a gif of Yoda in a response that says, zero fucks I give. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great answer, I would say, to this. That's what you would say? Non-question. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's from Chris Schultz. He says, my personal opinion is simple. You don't know me or what I believe in. Oh, Therefore, my God. Since you aren't part of my life. I could honestly give less of a fuck what you think. And then there's the Yoda picture. True patriots have sent this response. <laughs> Hell God yeah. damn. It would be yeah. so hard for me to be turned down this way by a Yoda gif. I would be so mad if Yoda... First of all, it's not a gif at all. It's not even animated. It's just an image. Oh, you could make it animated. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't give me sass I'm on my to, Yoda description. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? It's not animated, zero, sir. Zero fucks. I, I guess give. it could be a non-animated GIF. Yeah. Maybe think about maybe think about the things you said. <laughs> could just be a GIF shimmying. <laughs> yeah. It's just a I guess a meme. Anyway, the point is that conservatives win. This round. <laughs> what about the other answers? Doug Martinek says, folks like you deserve absolutely no respect or consideration. You oh are truly nothing but immoral, foul, and disgusting examples of human beings. 
Doug Martinek at the bank. Yeah. My cat is fully taking a shit on camera at this point. <laughs> Live on cam? Hot in together. 4K? Hot I think that's also a good response to this question. Beats of cunning. <laughs> now, if you're listening to the show, it is not on camera, so oh, you sorry. still yeah, you don't have to go to YouTube see to see it because you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Please, just use your ears. Um, it seems like they're not arguing anything of substance in this Quora. Mm. No, not quite. Must be an outlier that way. <laughs> One person says, you are a parasite, think the world owes you a living. It doesn't. Okay, that's pretty good. All oh, right, yeah. Coming from you, I'm honored. That's a guy with a picture of a gun. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's mad. like, what jobs are left? Like, you could, uh, you could edit AI. Mm -hmm. You could uh, be a Neuralink patient. Sure. You could. Uh, one of our best jobs. And then you could be a server, and that's it. That's all. Those that's are all the jobs that are left. So conservatives don't really have an argument anymore. Mm. That's right. Well, you could pull yourself up by your bootstraps to be a really good Neuralink patient. Yeah, do you think that pays well? <laughs> yeah. I'd be so mad to lose my job to a literal monkey. Yeah. To be like, oh, great. Well, now that they've tested on the monkeys, they're ready to do it on the people. So yeah, yeah. They've That's killed true. all the monkeys. The equivalent so run out of monkeys to kill. The equivalent of bootstraps work you can do in the modern economy is like volunteer first for a dangerous new procedure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think before it, it's safe. That's, yeah. That's the bootstrap that you can do now. That's right. Yeah, step up the, to the plate and be a, a human hamster. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you wear the same shoes a hamster wears for um, once in your life? That's a, great, that's a great point. Should we read another question? Yes, we have more politics questions. Okay, here's another one. Does the fact that there are only 19 M, I think that's 19 million, million. right? 19 million people in New York, but there are 21 million people registered to vote with 1.2 million of those being cloned seemed at <laughs> all suspicious to you? So if I'm just taking the data from the question, that does sound suspicious. Yeah, that sounds really suspicious. I mean, especially the cloned part. There's 1.2 million clones in New York. <laughs> I haven't seen yeah. a damn clone. Are we clones? I've been here for like 12 years. I did. Yeah. I do think there. Are, I've seen people who look just like Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I just other like, Irish people. <laughs> yeah, I get a text a week of like, I saw your doppelganger. That's really? my clone running around the city voting. How do you know you're not the clone, though? That's the scary thing. I know. That might, yeah. I should look at my voter registration. <laughs> There's a little C on it. <laughs> Jeremy was saying that when his dad uh, rents a car outside of the city, everyone tells him he looks like Jeremy This happened Seinfeld. one time when he was, when, before I was born, that's a guy, he tried to rent a car. It's not every time he rents a car specifically. Every time he rents a car, one people are like, Jerry like, Seinfeld's here? He owns so many cars. In the early 90s. <laughs> some guy thought that my dad was Jerry Seinfeld and like didn't believe him looking at his li his driver's license. But they don't that's look a fake one you're carrying yeah. around so you don't have to take pictures and exactly. sign autographs. Nice <laughs> joke, Jerry. You're so funny. <laughs> How's Elaine doing? <laughs> he does not look like Jerry Seinfeld. No, he doesn't. Well, but makes you wonder if he's a clone. Maybe he yeah. is. That's they both why went to Queens up. College. Yeah. yeah. I love that this, yeah, this person thinks that, uh, you know, Democrat, the Democratic Party has figured out something so complex as cloning people but we can't figure out a, a president that's awake no. <laughs> and we're only using it in new york which is like a, <laughs> a queer blue state yeah and the votes don't matter i mean besides a president awake just like a policy they like or anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well they did clone john fetterman several times Right? Isn't that a theory that people have that John Fetterman is like a fourth clone or something? Yeah. I think I, that was going around. It looks like a mistake. So the difference all. between like Democrat um, uh, conspiracy QAnon. theories and Republican conspiracy theories are like the con Republican ones are like there are clones, and then the Democrat ones are like he's secretly more liberal than he seems. <laughs> 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 uh, so well, there was think... a lot of people there was a fun like blue and on theory with the debate that i saw where people thought that russia was shooting a havana havana syndrome yes. ray at joe biden yeah but oh. just a small one like a little one so he's just a little cook yeah it's the ray gun that makes you say um yeah <laughs> <laughs> make him say um <laughs> <laughs> and by the way 
Uh. <laughs> <laughs> damn, it's a damn ray gun. Uh, I get hit by that almost every time we do a second podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is your second one of the day? That's right. No yeah. wonder you took a long lunch. That's yep. Right. And that actually puts us in the our peak of podcasting conditions, too, because we get this big, full lunch in us, and then mm-hmm. we're just ready to tell people how we really feel. And how I feel is that it is suspicious how many clones yeah, are voting. Yeah, I do think that is suspicious, assuming that they're correct about the cloning thing, which I have to assume they are. I just don't... I haven't seen the numbers anywhere else, so I have no reason not to believe it's 21 million versus 19 million with 1.2 million clones. Yeah. Are there any good answers? No, everyone's mad at this guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's 100 plus answers. <laughs> Damn, really? And not a single good one. So, and everybody just checking the numbers. The guy's name is Scott Boyd. Scott and they're all yelling at him. He's his space is called the Truth Network. And he knows about history. Admin of the Truth Network? He is an admin of the Truth Network. He knows um, about history. Was this a student of yours? Possibly. <laughs> uh this one guy says what's what's suspicious to me, Scott, is that you didn't bother to check your data before posting this pseudo question. Flawless <laughs> victory. That's yeah. Pretty, that's pretty badass. I don't see how you're coming back from that. Here's no. the co-rator regulators coming in. Co-rator now! <laughs> <laughs> and then a lot of people are just like, no, that's actually fine because it makes sense that the, you're doing the counting wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Check the number again. Where do the clones come in? Why I don't do you, think clones should vote. I don't think clones should vote either. Because you have to imagine they're going to vote for the same thing as the original person. Right. Because yeah. I... Are twins different than clones? Yes. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> We're not that yeah. different. We haven't successfully cloned a human. Yet. I've seen in Sister Sister that <laughs> <laughs> twins can have their own life and that makes them different, but genetically they're clones. I saw yeah. the Three Identical Twins movie. Did I talk about this on this podcast already? I don't think so. Where they, uh, this family, they found, uh, like in New York, some doctor like had, there was three identical twins triplets and they split them up and they put one in like a poor person's house and one in a middle class person's house and one in a rich person's house to just like see if they live differently are you listening mm-hmm. and then uh they were all deeply depressed and one killed themselves because oh, they missed no. their twins because you can't do that to people if you separate <laughs> twins they'll die if you separate twins and don't tell them they will die their Damn. heart is broken in three it's That's a sad so movie sad, but yeah wow I feel like if you separated me from my brothers and sisters, mm. I'd be a much happier child. It's because you're not twins. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. not twins. You don't have the twin power. All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we solved that. Um, the president eats more than once and clogs the toilet in the White House. I didn't say that. Sam did. <laughs> you don't have to put me in jail. What do you think? <gasps> Who's Sam? Wait, this is a recent question? Uh, it's from one year ago. Yeah, so it's still about Joe Biden. It's still is it? About- yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. He shits twice a day mm-hmm. and clogs the toilet. What's the it's question? I what do you think? I can't see Joe Biden clogging a toilet. Clogging a toilet takes like a lot of vitality. Yeah, and I strength. feel like Trump would definitely. C- Trump clog. could clog every single toilet in wow. a ten mile radius. I can't radius. believe you guys are so political. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the tank for this guy. My guy wouldn't clog the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good man. Yeah, that's the <laughs> nicest thing I've said about Joe Biden. <laughs> He's got a narrow poop like a needle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a monkey tail. <laughs> like a monkey tail. <laughs> that's so visual. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Sam? Okay, well, Do they Sam, need Uncle Sam? Uh, Sam said it. Sam I don't understand said why you're it. so confused. Well, he didn't say that. Sam did. Don't put him in jail. So this is a some sort of troll account. But uh, also, I don't... It's like, it's still weird, though, because this is their version of a troll to be like, Sam did it, not me. Yeah, well, there is, there is a good point there that the White House has an outdated plumbing system. Yeah. And they, uh, I mean, they haven't updated that house in hundreds of years. We need the British to burn it down again. <laughs> they had a whole exactly. TV show about that with, uh, what's his name? Don't listen to me. What are you talking Did, about? Wasn't there dog? like a White House plumbers? Wasn't there like an HBO show recently? Really? What? Am I making this up? No, I, I, there, I don't there think. There was. White House uh, Plumbers was a show on HBO with Woody Harrelson in 2023. I mean, I don't think there are literally plumbers in this. I was making no, a dumb no, no, joke. No, no, but if a, no um, one's heard of it, that I sound truly dumb. Yeah, it's a no, Watergate thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were, they were, uh, they were officials hired to stop yes. leaks. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, Jeremy, I was trying. They were I was trying to make a joke, plumbers. but then I. 
I sound because, silly. Because Joe Biden clogs the toilet twice a day. <laughs> That's what it's about. It's about fucking <laughs> Woody Harrelson coming in with a fucking plunger. Jeremy yeah. thinks Woody Harrelson, the actor, actually I didn't say goes. that. Sam said that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be clear. He thinks he goes to Joe Biden's house and is like, there's nothing I could do, Mr. President. I'm just an actor. <laughs> I don't know how to plunge. My dad was a bank robber. <laughs> That's some more Woody Harrelson trivia, which we that try is. to fit in the show every week. Every week we do it. Hit the Woody button. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that one was there. Okay. Um, okay, there's one answer here. It says, he shouldn't have been eating classified documents. His tastes are as odd as he is. Flawless victory. Oh, eating classified documents. I think this person thinks they're talking about Trump, but I do think the question asker, who is a weird racist on the internet, is talking about Joe Biden. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, they both have been hoarding classified documents, apparently. Yeah, but I feel like Trump was like the one who everyone was mad about it for, right? Right, but I think, I think if you watch Fox News, you, prob- you probably get... Mm-hmm. You know, news stories that Biden's doing it too. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. I, I think if you're I an, on that show. media diet. But yeah, uh, Biden is the one who's like, he's jizzing on the plans to attack Iran or whatever. <laughs> and then you're, you're like, on my plans? I don't think, I think country. genuinely, yeah. if Joe Biden jizzed, he would die at this point. I think he is that a challenge? <laughs> I will jerk off the that's president. The, that's the one thing he hasn't said is like you know get mad at an interview and be like, I, you want to suck me off? Because <laughs> I won't die. <laughs> I love it. I think he would literally die as soon as he comes. He'd die. My favorite thing about Joe Biden is how happy he Camp. looks when he looks at his wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> Joe, yeah. Dr. Joe Biden. I Dr. Mean, Joe Biden. Yeah, instead of them arguing about their golf swing, they're just like arguing about how far they can do a back shot. <laughs> how I'm far sorry. they can do a back shot. <laughs> Kamala, we need you. I see you've been hanging out with boys lately, <laughs> Naomi. <laughs> I've just been on the internet. <laughs> hey, fellas, now that the wives are gone, how far can you do one? <laughs> All right, take out the measuring tapes. <laughs> I'm getting them from downtown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do yeah. like horseshoes with cum. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's like magnets. You're like sucked pelvis first across the room. Um, okay, well, I think the question really was what, 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 who is Sam, but we didn't get to the bottom of that one, unfortunately. It was what do you think? Although the guy who asked this is named Sam. Huh. Huh. Samuel Alexander Pacino. So I, I don't I don't want to hear from him anymore. He pisses me off. They're putting him in prison. He's apparently. going to jail. He's going to jail because of the question. We won't be hearing any more from him because his satire was too confusing. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> yeah his, his bio is a true Aryan, a patriotic nationalist, and then he has a picture of himself doing like a soy face, but he has a Hitler mustache. I kind of yeah. don't get what angle he's coming from, and he's That's annoying me, That's and I'm, I'm going to find him and murder his him. His character is soy Hitler, I think, oh. which I don't think uh. is like really a thing. These Whatever. are the guys that didn't make it to January 6th. So I'm <laughs> trying to stir shit up on the internet. Yeah. Somebody on Twi- Twitter sent me the idea of Adolf Squidward before we started recording. I think that's maybe a hotter um, take. Alex, is there supposed to be more th- questions than these? Yeah, dog. Did uh, you pick political questions because you thought Anders was coming on the podcast? No, I thought you could do them too. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Hold on. We'll figure it out. I'll just grab we'll, some No, these more. are great. These are great. These are more these feats are, of these coming. These are the cream of the Cora. We could do the historical ones first. Okay, we'll do, we'll do two historical ones and I'll grab okay. some more. Um, this is the same sound, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> If Thomas Jefferson appeared at your door late one evening asking to borrow your triangle, would you oblige and perhaps even invite him in invite him in for something to eat? Would you? The triangle like the musical instrument. Yeah, the iron triangle. The 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 noise maker. There's no way to know. Yeah. I mean, of course I would invite him in, show him what a phone was, uh, tell him how uh, our views on slavery have changed. We're against now. And we don't like it anymore. <laughs> we don't it's like it anymore. Bad. And yeah, he has a mixed legacy. Right. I would let him know about that. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you may not want to go to all the houses. <laughs> <laughs> Just by the way, we actually kind of turned on you the last few years. <laughs> is he trick or treating? Like, what is he? He's going house to house. Yeah, he's dressed as a ghost. <laughs> yeah. He's a sex offender, so he has to. <laughs> the government makes him. 
Or Thomas Jefferson. He comes back as a ghost, and they're like, sorry, you're on the registry, pal. <laughs> you got to tell everyone. Some of that shit you did was not cool. Tell and we're it. not talking about writing your own Bible. Tell everyone you're back from the dead and that you are a predator. <laughs> yeah. Alert the neighbors. Um, I think I'd invite them in to eat, though. Uh, so this is actually part of a series of questions really? that, that is on Quora. Yeah. Like, what would you do if this person came back from the dead? Yeah. There's there's a lot of them on here. We have another one lined great. up. But I do want to hear the answer for the Thomas okay. Jefferson one. Stephen Cooper says, I would most definitely invite this great American in for a bite to eat. <laughs> Hoping with all honesty, that could lead to conversations about his many contributions to the founding of this country that I love so much. Who would it now? This guy sounds so cool. Yeah. He's a really cool Quora user. Yeah. I love how like a whimsical question immediately leads people into their politics. Yeah. <laughs> what do you do you respect him or <laughs> turn him away? He said we could discuss his fondness for macaroni and cheese, could send it up on the dumb waiter that he invented while we sat on an office swivel chair that he invented. A brilliant man. <laughs> <laughs> Did he invent he invented, uh, uh, dumb I, waiters? People fucking back then claimed all kinds of shit. The second the patent was invented, everyone just claimed, like, oh, I thought of chairs. I was the first one to think of chairs. Yeah. I'm looking this up. Apparently, he invented the swivel chair. The fucking okay. bullshit. Some Chinese guy invented that 10,000 years before you shut <laughs> yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. No fucking way. Did you say Thomas Jefferson was born in China? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True patriots, no. <laughs> uh, Third okay, eye opening. Well, Chinese good to know. Thomas Jefferson. Good to okay. know that Tom was big into. Uh, he had a big old desk. That's why he needed yeah. the swivel chair. This guy who who wrote this, Stephen Cooper, his um, his bio, the guy who wrote the swivel chair thing, lover of life and a quasi philosopher, professor emeritus, uh, advanced study. Appreciation appreciation of XX chromosome? No, chromosomal Chromos backsides. Oh. He's saying he's saying sexually that he he's into women. Yeah. Um, but he did it in a way that sucks. I think he's saying they're butts. Yeah, they're backsides. Do you understand no. what Stephen Cooper is like now? I think Sam said this. I don't know what's going no, on. No, don't bring Sam up. This is Stephen Cooper. <laughs> He's an advanced study in Professor Emeritus, and he's appreciator of XX chromosomal backsides. Yeah. So he's here for Thomas Jefferson trivia and ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's on Quora. That's so cool. What spaces is he in? Uh, let me look. Uh, the intellectual truth. All right. Conservative corner. All right. Everything Republican. No sex stuff, though. No. No fun sex groups. Relationship advice. Sex. He knows about sex and classic rock and roll. All right. He just said the letters. Connoisseur. Sense. Sometimes XX you're on the chromosome. page and it's like, my two spaces are the conservative mind and cum shots 5,000. He's, <laughs> he, he's a big contributor to It's Okay to Be White. Yes. Uh, so he's talking a lot about um, D DEI, diversity. Wow. What a professor emeritus. Uh, I'm trying to see if he is um, asking anything about women. <laughs> It doesn't seem that way. I think it was just a cheeky joke to put in his bio because he's like, I'm coming off a little dry here. How do I tell them I'm fun? He wrote, he has a question that says, "Why? Uh, what would you rather be doing than having sex? I would like to see mm. the answers. And then he says, with the current trend of no pubic hair on young ladies, will pubic hair eventually evolve itself out? All right. That oh. was a pretty good one. I'm glad we kept looking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought maybe there wasn't anything here. I was wrong. He, he's got this some hits. A, this is a good Cora. <laughs> Is that cool. like a top ten? Uh, we found some pretty nasty guys out here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I I do not think he makes top ten. To be sorry, honest, sorry, sorry, Stephen. Uh, sorry. Let me read more answers. On you're this nothing Thomas compared Jefferson. to the guy who jumps in pools with his clothes on. Yeah, you're I feel not. like what would you feed him? And have to be like Burger King or something, That'd or be, be like yeah, French food. Like everybody eats this now. Everyone <laughs> eats escargot, Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> some like pho. And he's like no. <laughs> <laughs> Given that Thomas Jefferson lived in the 18th and 19th centuries and is no longer alive, it would be quite an extraordinary event for him to appear at my door. Yeah, we know. Shut up. Yeah. That's what the Shut question up. is. Do you love it or not? That's so bad. I hate this person with oh all my, my heart. Oh, my God. Yeah. Gonna... Who's here to fact check the whimsy? <laughs> don't, don't you 
Don't you get don't you get me in trouble with him? I wrote shut the fuck up. You can't just do that on Quora. I just did. We're gonna get banned from Quora. All right, we should change your name on here eventually. What do you think we should change Alex's name to on Quora? And the picture Quora? is of my face. All right, all right, all right, fine. But what's a good name to give Alex on this website? What about uh Al- Alberto Cornelius. Mysterio? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I thought of that just now. That's off the dome. Um. <laughs> Alex's new name on Quora is Alberto Mysterio. Thank you. All right, and also we need a new picture, too, that's of uh, Mysterio from spider Okay, we'll do that later, though. Okay, we do not have time for that. <laughs> We're actually podcasting. <laughs> Could we please pull up the next question? I would like to okay. continue the discussion. Okay, now this is a very different question. This, this is question still history-based. If Fidel Castro appeared at your door <laughs> late, late one night and told you he was hungry, what would you make for him to eat? The first oh. thing I'd do is I'd ask... If he wants to play my triangle, (laughs) it's waiting for guests. And then a lot of people, by the way, are doing the same thing on the other question where they're like, he's dead. How would he come to your door? Fidel Castro, he invented the bed frame, right? (laughs) (laughs) He invented the bed frame just so he could break it, baby. Yeah, he invented like... um, Because he's a sex guy. Like uh, sporks. Yeah. (laughs) They're like forks, but also spoons. Yeah, I bet a lot of those answers are like, Hunger? He must know something about that. <laughs> Having starved the Cubans. I would guarantee there's something like that. <laughs> um, now I've just become a Cora person. Actually, every single answer is about the <laughs> fact that he is dead. They're all just like, he's not alive, so I can't do that. Well, there are some yeah. that are like, and he's a bastard. Yes. Yeah. This guy, Silvio, says uh, he's dead is, and in, is in hell. But if he did show up at my door, I'd make sure he was dead. I would execute him for a crime against humanity, including murder of one of my own family members. Oh, Ooh. damn. Gusano posting. Uh, that's Silvio, he former al- he, g- he has a Google alert set for when Fidel Castro <laughs> <laughs> is brought up in any kind of whimsical way so he can <laughs> remind um, people that his great-grandfather was assassinated by him. He, he His Quora bio says that he studied at the School of Hard Knocks, which oh, I imagine no. was... The, um, this is only the option. Cuban. <laughs> After ca- the ca- Castro in exile, his family. Yep. <laughs> um, that's very funny. Sorry to you, Silvio. I'm sorry to you, Silvio. Fidel got your ass. Yeah, El Mao. Um, I give him some money and tell him to buy himself some food from the restaurant across the street. That's a normal. That's answer. a pretty good okay. answer. They. Uh, it's simply to say, my house is not a restaurant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why are people so much more angry about this one than the Thomas Jefferson one? Like, I get that more you know, people, recent political people figure. don't like him as much, but like nobody is even like entertaining it. I guess uh, they just don't feel confident in their ability as chefs. Yeah, or they're just not creative enough to tell a little story. I do really like the format of a uh, dead figure comes to your house and asks for X. Yeah. Yeah. Why are they so hungry? I mean, they've been dead. You, yeah, they've been dead for a while. They, They're I like the eaten. shades in Greek drama. They crave life. Mm. Yeah. Whether that's through the triangle <laughs> or some tasty food to eat. And if you run into them in Hades too, they'll help fight the bad guys. Wow. That's some good Hades. Did you li- did you like that Hades reference, Naomi? <laughs> Great. Did Video you love that? <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your favorite American RPG? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's an answer here that says Fidel Castro is dead. If he was at my door, he would probably be a zombie looking for brains to eat. Mm-hmm. I am 71 years old. I desperately <laughs> need whatever brains I have left. I would not let him in. All right. And he was in. He marched. He marched against the Vietnam War, Iraq War, and Trump. And Trump. That's oh. a lot of marching. Richard Nathan, we salute you. You're a soldier for freedom. But he wouldn't give Castro a snack. Well, he's afraid of the. Him stealing yeah. his brains. Get somebody else's brain. Barbecue it up. All right, this man is 71. Um, his bio is, I guess I'm just an old hippie. I wanted to work in the creative end of the entertainment industry, but I couldn't make it. I was in two awful films, for which I was never ah. paid. <laughs> an awful horror film called Meat Eater and an awful softcore sex film called Deep Jaws. So we're still getting IMDb credits here. Nice. Apparently he writes comedy sketches and plays. Okay. And full-length Shakespeare parodies. I would this love to. This is our to. future. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> for fucking real. I'm reading this and just grimacing. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Alex Patak. I was in three podcasts that were awful. <laughs> I'm Alberto Mysterio. <laughs> I want to read his sketches. Sketches are meant to be performed. He has um, a, a space called Scene from My Plays. We could find them. 
but I don't I don't think we should read them. I right? don't think we should read them. They are long. Light Do you endeavor. want to be Flavius or Carpenter, Alex? We are not reading the play. <laughs> <laughs> How do we engage Naomi in this two-person play? <laughs> <laughs> she can't see the screen. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's a flaw in the What's system. Up, Let me find another question. Okay. Hit, okay. The, hit the Quora MD button, Alex. All right. We found some more uh, feats of counting questions for you, Naomi. And this All is right. our medical section, Quora MD. Now, these are uh, questions from in the hospital where um, you've sent some of our listeners from just appearing on the on the After podcast. they watched the special. Yeah. yeah. In the ambulance, they watched your special, and they yeah. really liked it. <laughs> Not on like, the TV like it's a bus. <laughs> they... <laughs> <laughs> they were watching it, and the the laughs they were getting in there kept them alive all the way That's to the emergency impressive. room where they are now. You can't ask for more as a comedian. That's great, as long <laughs> as they're not children. <laughs> <laughs> and none of them are children as well. Now, speaking of children, this is in a space called... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This is in a space called Boys Ask Men, parentheses, BAM. A place to ask stuff you'd like to ask a dad. Um, Very relevant. Remember the, what the space is. Now the question, <laughs> the question is, I want to eat my cum. I tired so many times, but at the last moment, I chickened out. It always happens. When I try to eat my cum directly from my dick to my mouth, period, I feel so t- disgusted after cum drops in my mouth. And these uh, are questions you'd ask a dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see why these people are raised by Quora. Um <laughs> I mean, so he can put his dick in his mouth, so that means he's, like, hyper-flexible. I tired so many times, <laughs> but I chickened out. So he's, yeah, he he's can pretty flexible, do I guess. it. He could get his dick into his mouth, or maybe he's just shooting it. He's got the Go system on. down, but he's too much of a coward to finish the job. <laughs> wow. He's cowardly. So, but it sounds like users. he tried it. He, it he did try in it. in his mouth. But he feels disgusted. But he hasn't had like a full serving. He's like, I would like to. He can't really get enough. Feel the amino acids yeah. be absorbed by my body. <laughs> he's <guess> starving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's doing this for hunger reasons. He's like in the woods. I yeah. do like that. He's this, like a sexual bear grills. This was accepted by the moderator of the sub, so it must all be questions like this. It's just like misleadingly titled. Oh, we're gonna go into the the group after this. <laughs> I am afraid to. I am afraid to go into the group. That's too bad. I'm glad I'm answering questions a father should answer. (laughs) Alex, would you say that you're um, chickening out? Yes, I'm chickening out. I'm I'm tired of it. (laughs) I tired so many times, but at the last moment, I chicken out. Uh, Also, what you'll notice about this question is there is no question in it, so you have to kind of extrapolate one. I think the question for this person is why are they trying to eat their own cum if they find it disgusting? I think... Yeah, uh, or just uh, how do I not chicken out? Or no, I think it's uh, I think it's <laughs> so many more ways to interpret it. That it's it's more sympathetic than you think. He's he's trying to think like how do women do it? Mm. Like <laughs> I if I can't even do it, how can I ask a girl right. to swallow? Right, right. yeah. And, and it's that's, the that's, beginning they cut out is as an ally. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I do think that all men should suck their own dick before asking a woman to do it. Exactly. So you know what you're asking. Well. Okay. You should know how it tastes. Tip the man! Eat your own cum eat before it. you make someone else eat it. I guess try it's like, it first. It's like cooking. You know, you're not going to just do a new recipe for someone. Yeah. You're like, mm, I need to yeah. add salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. You go, <laughs> <laughs> Italian chef. After case. eating your own cum. Now, are the answers in this supportive? Uh, Can we read them without former father a line? Robert Eckenrod says there is nothing wrong or disgusting with eating your own semen. Many guys do it, myself included. What like all forms of sex, this is a father. <laughs> yeah. Like all forms of sex, this is a personal choice. Some guys like it, some do not. If you keep trying, you'll be able to do this without any problems. When I first started giving oral sex to guys, I did not like to have them come in my mouth. After a while, I started looking forward to eating their cum. I guess you could say it's an acquired taste, like lobster. Huh. Take care, guten tag. <laughs> <laughs> practice, 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 and take a load. <laughs> yeah, take a load off as you try to take a load. Because it's going to take a while. Because it's going to take a while. Um, one guy just says, same here. 
<laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's me for real. I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's hundreds of guys out there who are just trying to swallow their own cum. Yeah. I it mean, is interesting how everybody answers this differently because there is no question in it. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of about whatever you want it to be about. Um, this guy, Andrew, says, so as you're building towards orgasm, your body takes over, your mind begins to ignore things, the ticking clock, the weather, your surroundings in general, and so you're... And so your inhibitions, your yuck, this isn't right feeling becomes, okay, this is going to be good. I really want to taste my cum. Then you come, your mind is all a whiz with all these fantastic feelings. But as soon as they start to subside, the yuck feelings start to come mm. in again. The icky, don't touch your penis, your wee, your poo that your parents have always told you, this starts coming in. So you manage to get some drops into your mouth and then, arg, no, it no longer tastes nice. Arg! Mm. I teach about the taste. It is one of my jobs. And your tongue <laughs> itself cannot taste anything, nothing at all. It is all in the mind. If you can conquer the mind, you will conquer the taste, but it will be tricky. The guy oh, that baby. responded suggesting edging might be your solution. What is his job? He is like a Jedi for getting guys to suck their own cock. <laughs> I'm paid by the Jedi Council. <laughs> the Emperor is in contact and This with guy's us. a chef and a teacher. Okay. Andrew. He's 52. Cool. He lives in Norway. He's got three children. He knows about masturbation and learning English. Hey, me too. Uh, cool. Good for you, it? Andrew. Thanks for writing in. Yeah, he's a real dad. Yeah. <laughs> Come and answer this question. He does question. have three kids. Yeah, I do like the supportive nature of the comment section here. Yeah, it's a good group. Nobody's the being mean Boys about ass it. men. Boys ass men. Right, I so do have to go find men? more questions in boys ass men. I'm sorry. What's in boys ass men? How do I grow more hair? It seemed that I barely grown hair on my legs or pits. I'm 15. See, that's a normal boys ass mm. men question. What kind of underwear is best for I'm hiding your bulge? Sorry, what's up? <laughs> I'm glad I'm here to answer these yeah, questions. Yeah, no, that's why we brought you here. <laughs> uh, How do you grow hair on A lot your of these armpits. are sex related in a way that I don't feel like I should be no, reading. No, I don't think we should read that. Um, a <laughs> that lot of would these, be a line for us. You have to imagine a lot of these are people are just pedophiles pretending. I, I hope they're pretending. <laughs> Uh, I like this one. This guy says, is it is being uncut really that bad? I've heard so many bad things about it. Mm. I haven't heard anything bad about it. We did do that Corator's Plus about the guy who stretched his foreskin to like 18 inches, but yeah. that's something he did. It wasn't like something right. that was set up that way. No, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but there's all those infections you can get if you don't clean it. If you don't right. clean it. You got to clean it. But that's true of anywhere on your body, really. Mm. Sure. Like if you don't, you're clean. more susceptible yeah, to infection. True. Yeah. Especially so I guess you, in that way, it's bad. It's yeah. harder to Cut eat. Them your off. Cum. Yeah. But what do daddies think? Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know what look. the Cora dads think. Um, James says it's certainly not bad. You only have to look online to find many circumcised people who wish they were not, but also n almost no uncut people wanting to be circumcised. I am one of those uncut people. I have never found it to be any kind of problem, and I believe it is draconian to remove a part of a child's body without their informed consent. Oh, and I'll vote for you, sir. <laughs> what a badge of honor. I am an uncut man. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many of us. I'm an uncut woman. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I come to your village looking for uncut men. I'm an uncut gem. Cool. Thanks for that, boys ask men. I guess what I like about the boys ask men space is that it's a 50-50 it. split between like general advice and like uh, 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 sexual questions. And then the other half is like pure smut <laughs> written yeah. by people cosplaying. Um, I I followed the group for us so that if we want to uh, Thank you. see more in there, eventually we can. That will affect the emails I get. Um <laughs> Okay, let's read another question. Okay. This one's a bit much. We've been waiting on this one for a while, and um, I, I, I'm genuinely curious about it. Okay. This question is, has anyone ever had a sissygasm? What is a sissygasm? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But I'm dying um, to find out. I, I don't know that we could... Um, I know what it sounds like. I, so w when we say we have been waiting on this one for a while, Alex has been putting it on every question, every episode, and I've been like, I don't want to talk about. I wanted this. to ask David and now, Cross this one, and now I guess we Alex accidentally deleted a bunch of questions, and he's like, we have to do the sissy one. Now. I wanted to find out what a sissy gasm <laughs> is, and my 
a learned experience, it would probably sound something like, no, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, like something uh, like that. Yeah, some, <laughs> something uh, real quick. Like when you throw someone a football and they drop it. All right, I'm just going to tell you that. Sexually. This, uh, I'll, I'll read some of these, but it's going to be porn. Okay. Uh, uh, well, let's. I'd You're d- really messing with your YouTube algorithm, <laughs> my friends. <laughs> this will be porn. I'm going to read you erotica. Is there any that aren't that? That are just informational for right, people look, looking to look. learn. I'll look. I'll look. Okay. I want to know. Because I'm sure someone somewhere has had a sissy gasm. There's a great wide world. Nah, dude. Th- these are all. These they're are no all good. I, they're all different, which I think is beautiful. There are other questions. I'll read about the beginnings it. of some. I feel like a sissy gasm. It's like when you, you dance a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's when someone walks in on the room on your private dance and you go get out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, you know what? I'll read a few of them. I'll read a few of them. That way we know we can get, we can kind of like get, um, you know, try to triangulate what it is. Mm. So just the beginnings of these. One of them says, uh, I had an orgasm while orally p- pleasure, pleasing a person I met in the park. We were behind some trees. Okay. Mm. Another person says, oh, yes, as a bored male, I know our G spot is in our anus. And you're damn right. I love being long, fat cocks to okay. those fists, too, and me. Mm. All right. So mm. it's One just person any, says, any, I have. Happened four years ago with okay. my finger. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just they're all just if you if, having gay sex is a sissy gasm. One of them it? says, an older black man was looking up my skirt. I started flirting with him. And we ended up making out. I could feel him throbbing against me. And he was huge with two exclamation points. All right. Oh. I get it. I get I get it. I didn't know there was such a horny side of Cora. One person says my owner is a trans mistress. Okay. So it's, <laughs> I guess I'm le- I'm more confused than what we came in as to what it is. One person says I had my first one being ganged my first time in a bathroom steam house. It blew my mind. Uh, wow. I still don't know what it is. Nope. <laughs> one person says, and this is for Alex, not exactly sure what you mean by sissy gasm. Thank you. I've had an orgasm being anally penetrated with my wife's strap on. Sure. Uh, we call it an assgasm. Assgasm. Yeah, in not my, a sissy gasm. In my house, different. it's an asssgasm. Yeah. <laughs> in Jeremy's house, I make the rules. That's true. It's we a difference between our houses. <laughs> um, to yeah. be clear, all of these are very long answers. I'm just reading the okay. beginning. They, we've done enough. Yes, we've many times. Uh, <laughs> yes, OMG. The one at this time happened in full lingerie haven't had one yet but i hope soon i i i'm no closer to knowing what it is uh one person says yes i locked myself in chastity i had done it prior to that but chastity changed it all oh well too many of us have been locked away in chastity when we have love dying to get out um one person says i have had orgasm while locked in cage Oh, <laughs> that's written by Borat's sister. Uh, one of these has a very uh, blurred photo. I'm not going to click, click on. Don't click it. Do not click it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's enough of those answers. I think I'm totally done with it, and I thank you for reading it, right, let's and re- let's I have had it time. on the dock for a while. Let's do another question. Fine. Is it good for plants to inhale farts? Plants? <laughs> plants. plants. Plants to inhale farts. Do you farts? have carbon dioxide, dioxide in your farts? I would imagine so. Right. Yeah, along with methane. Can't be bad. So farts are just what is a fart? A fart is like gases your body is releasing that it can't like keep inside, right? So like there was once this pseudoscience thing, right, where people did a study where they found that if you whisper like nice messages to a plant that they actually grow better. And they did it by like testing like one plant they didn't talk to and the other plant they just whispered like, you're doing great today, Mr. You're plant. You're my sweet yeah. And they found that it actually guy. worked. It made the plants grow more. But then people like were very quickly were like, you're just breathing CO2 onto this plant. Mm. So that's why it's actually, you could say anything you want to it if you breathe onto it. Yeah, and also it, maybe the moisture yeah. of your, um, the humidity. You've, so been, I, you've been down to your plant and you're like, have you ever had a sissy gasm? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the plant's like, yet. what the fuck is that? <laughs> the plant's like, not yet, but I hope to. Uh, In my house, we call it an assgasm. All that to say, I do think that farting on it probably would help. I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's what's in farts. I think like, all right, so the the plant consumes carbon dioxide and makes air. (laughs) It it makes makes air. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it does. (laughs) I'm sorry if that triggers you and your liberal worldview, but plants are making air everywhere. And uh, I don't. I think yeah. a fart has other stuff in it, and it's just probably not very good for plant. Sometimes you fart so bad it kills the plant outright. Naomi, from what I've seen in cartoons. Here. Yeah. 
I say yes. Alex says no. I, uh, emphatic no. Uh, yeah, I would say yes. It's it's probably the same amount of attention that you're giving to them when you're talking to the plant. And uh, I really think that this research needs to be done. I think so. And you could definitely get my boyfriend in on this study. <laughs> mm-hmm. Is this a, in is which way, like plant to, wise or farm wise? Yeah, what is his angle on this? <laughs> Can definitely help with the uh, input. Ah, I see. Well, um, let me ask my good friend Doctor Evil what he thinks. How about new? No? Oh, interesting. So we're back <laughs> to the He is a doctor, and he's a he doctor. He's a doctor. Yeah. Okay. We should defer to him. Oh, so the, we have doctors commenting on the post, so we might actually learn something for once in our fucking lives. Yeah. This guy says, "Ha ha." <laughs> I'd love to know the story behind this Me question. Too, but seriously, okay. apart from the fact that plants don't inhale anything, it might actually have a good effect for them. I say this because around 75% of our intestinal gas is made up of hydrogen, methane, and carbon dioxide. You don't need mm-hmm. to be a plant biologist to know that carbon dioxide is an important reactant in photosynthesis. What about the other 25% of our intestinal gas? Well, there are traces of less desirable compounds like hydrogen sulfide, but they are more harming to the individual sending to the individual setting them free than the plants, especially in such small amounts. So this guy says yes. So it was 75% carbon dioxide? Do you feel owned? I'm mm. owned and I'm uh, triggered as wow. well. Wow, they're going to send you to jail with Sam. That was his I'm, episode, right? I think it was. <laughs> I hate Sam. Sam was Sam was my least favorite quarry user we've ever found. Now, one thing that really pisses me <laughs> off, there's an AI here that answers the thing, and it's basically the exact same thing as what this other guy said. So oh. the AI is fully just taking answers from this quora it's taking credit for repurposing like them us. oh there's a lot of ai answers on yeah there. it's a new thing that quora is trying oh, to do oh no they're yeah, taking the, away our podcast the like execs at quora are also big ai people they so hate us like, part of they them. want us dead yeah it is funny that uh you know google paid for all to like scrape all these reddit answers and that's how you got like the glue on pizza yeah google answer yeah and uh, they were like, no, nah, we don't need Quora. The, the only people who like the AI responses are other AI people. It's got to be like a 1% uh, approval rating on yeah. the AI initiatives across the search engine. World. I don't know. I did walk when Andrews was trying to figure out the roadcaster. I walked in and he was like, Google said to do this. And I looked at I'm like. That's the AI suggestion. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> the blind leading the blind. Anders. I'm setting no. up the roadcaster. <laughs> <laughs> One day Anders will do the show. <laughs> You'll see him. Yeah. I've asked him a few times. Yeah, he'll really answer whether or not these plants are going to grow. <laughs> we'll give yeah. him the same playlist as you yeah, to keep it fair. The exact same <laughs> questions. We're going to yeah. do the sissy gasm thing again. I'm going to have my head in my hands. He's got a great answer on the cum eating one. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Anders is kind of a father. Yeah. Yeah, he's podcast uh, daddy. Well, that's the answer for that one. Is the answer is just yes. Yes. Alex is wrong. It says this was from Courtney Gale Benton. It doesn't say that. Let me find one more Quora. Um, all of her questions are about poop, and then Gross. she has one that's like, "What's the color of sweet and precious love?" Huh? What's the color? Brown. Gotta go with green. They're, but they're both poop, though. We're both talking about poop. <laughs> oh. You don't want to do this one? Oh, I didn't see we had another medical question. Oh right, great. I is it about this, cum? No, it is not <laughs> about cum. It doesn't really play into our theme of cunning feats, but I that is my fault for not having our questions ready for you. Here's a cunning feat for you. I felt a soft pop in my chest. Did my heart explode? Ooh. Hmm. Heartburn. I think it, this guy's heart exploded. If you feel like if I've you. had... If, <laughs> please, Jeremy. I've had pretty bad heartburn before, and it does feel like you're having heart attack symptoms. Yeah. So... It's probably heartburn. It's the sweet pop of heartburn. <laughs> That's <laughs> you, how you know it's fresh. You felt like a full chicken go back out of your stomach up into your throat, and that's what the pop is, and you're just fine, and you got to sit down, and also you got to drink less coffee. I think the guy's yeah. heart exploded, and he's dead. If and you the- feel a pop, you maybe got to go to the hospital. Pops are for the hospital. It, when you oh. die, the first thing you can do is write a Quora question about it. Yeah, but I, I think if if you're not experiencing any pain, like you're probably fine. Your body's all, you know, you got all those ga- all those gases in them. Yeah, they're they're constantly popping and locking. Also, Bodies I don't love to I don't know noises. if this I don't know if this happens to other people, but like, do you ever feel like strong pains in a part of your body, and you're like, what is this? Like your foot will hurt really bad, and yeah. then it's like, oh, it's nothing. Yeah, this was just entirely my brain, and there's nothing wrong with my foot. I've had that. Yeah. 
What is that? <laughs> Did it's my heart explode? Your foot. I, I, that's what I'm assuming. I think you're right, Alex. I think you're 100% right. This is the bravest thing you've ever said on this show. I don't know if it's medically explainable. It may come down to the very soul itself. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of a sin you did. Mm. That's what it is. It's because of the way you've treated others. <laughs> now, I would like to hear the medical answers on the response, please. Okay. Someone says, no, your heart didn't explode. Good. It's probably just yeah. air in your chest. That happens to me all the time, and it hurts for it's a second. It's probably it's a burp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it should happen all the time. <laughs> Should your chest pop all the time? <laughs> Someone says it might be a uh, a heart attack, or it could just be a muscle. Yeah, you got it, dog. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. heart Walk it off. Or muscle. It's one of those two. Uh, this guy says, "Yes, your heart exploded, and are you and you are still alive to ask this question on the internet? Come on, use your brain. No, your <laughs> fucking heart didn't explode. I was wow, probably the cartilage. People get aggressive on here. People get really mad. Yeah, this guy's a paramedic. Yeah." Um, so he says this is normal, and I think you're going to make it. Well, the thing is, as a paramedic, he sees people's heart explode all the time at work. Right. And so it's kind of like stealing And he's like, they're never him. on Quora. Yeah. I think I'd know if your heart exploded. I'd be Thank at you. your house. I'd be picking <laughs> up the pieces of your body. I'd be telling your wife about how you couldn't post on Quora anymore. This guy says, yes, you are dead. Get a grip. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. You want to do one more question? We'll call it there, I would Alex. like one more question, if that's all right. Uh, what would you want to do? Oh, uh, I would like to return to Bog City, please. Okay. Bog City. So this is in the philosophy segment, our philosophy segment. <laughs> no. <laughs> Same color. Please ignore our tips for them. Nice. We walked up all these steps. <laughs> There's a man with a beard. That's Alex. Hey, it is people David hated Letterman. my beard. <laughs> <laughs> did your brother tell you to get rid of it or something? Uh, my brother didn't like it. My friends didn't like it. I, my beard like was it? rejected across cultures. Wife, uh, thumbs up or thumbs down? She was supportive in that we were hoping like eventually it would work out because I have this big spot on my face that can't grow any hair. And so, like, we were like, maybe it'll, you know, cover that part. But it, like, didn't. It just kept getting longer and longer with a big, like, jagged, pale spot. That looks crazy. If you want to know about that, watch uh, clips from the first season of Core Raiders. It's all over that thing. <laughs> Here's a question. What's it best, to live in a bog city or in a little town? A bog city or a little town. So, like, a marsh? Yeah, like a city by a marsh. <laughs> <laughs> Right like, I guess, like, town. Tampa or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm picturing, like, a, I don't know, Coruscant in Star Wars, you Portland, know. Maine. Yeah. In Maine. A bog city or what? A, a, little, little, town. a, little, a town. little town. A little town. A little town. A bog city. A bog city. Hey, I'd like to live there. I live in freaking bog city. It's yeah. like Venice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a place half submerged, but has like yeah. a lot of a, 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 a metro amenities. I think yeah. Like Bog City. I feel like, yeah, it's going to have a mosquito problem. I feel like kind of an age old question Bog City versus Little Town. <laughs> if I was, um, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like in the park and there's too many mosquitoes, and I say like out loud, like, <laughs> what is this Bog City? <laughs> Where do you find <laughs> this question, Alex? I don't know. I, I so I'm realizing it is probably just big city they meant to say. Yeah, but uh. it, <laughs> <laughs> it took me this long to figure that out. But I do really like Bog City. Yeah, I, th I think I want to live in Bog City. It sounds like it has more character than a little town. Also, I need the attention of uh, a thriving art scene. Um, there's an answer here that says, "What is Bog City? Never heard of it." <laughs> Living in a little town in the country is certainly very much preferable cover to living in any city. Believe me, I've been there. Flawless victory. Bog lovers destroyed. Maybe if you're like a frog. Maybe you'd if you're love, a fucking frog, you'd like love it. Bog City. Otherwise, go to a suburb of Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> is this the, the asker of the question? This is the asker of the question. It's really nothing special. It's a lot of questions about like the uh, various wars. If ghost spirits exist, how do they survive? If ghost spirits exist? Ghosts slash spirits, they exist. How did they survive? That, yeah, that's a good question. I always <laughs> thought about that. 
Like, are they, they're just knocking on your door trying to get a free mm. lunch. Yeah, they're looking for <laughs> macaroni and cheese constantly. One stranger at a time. Another one of his questions was, does North Korea recognize the Taliban? <laughs> so this guy's like go-to site for just random uh, information is Quora. Quora is like if you had to wait for Google. It's like <laughs> yeah. you Google something and then in a few days you might get an answer. And usually they're just going to be like, I don't know. I don't know how you would do this, but for some reason he's been banned from using Google and he's like, I have a, a better option. It's like writing writing a letter to Google. That's what Quora yeah. is. I'm realizing now. Yeah, it's pretty much the song Stan, but do, for do information think, about ghosts. Do you think that ghost Thomas Jefferson's friends with to ghost Fidel Castro? Oh, yeah, I think it's one big club, and you're not in it, pal. Oh, no. Yeah. They're just smoking cigars. Look into oh, ghosts. Look into spirits. bummer. <laughs> Look into the Illuminati of Thomas Jefferson ghosts. All right, that's enough of this podcast. Yeah, that's, I've, I, I feel like I've learned too much today. Let's, yeah. go, let's go to the theme song here. Naomi, thank you so much for coming oh, on. Thank you for having me. It's, this was great. It's been a thrill. Where can our listeners find you at home and abroad? Uh, I'm at Naomi Caravani on all platforms. And yeah, watch my special firecracker on YouTube. This thing's a firecracker. Uh, yeah, if you want more of our show, we have a live show on August 24th at Caveat Lounge and Bar. <laughs> You're going to love it. We have the description for that in the... Um, blah, 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 blah. We have the link for that in the description of this episode. Excuse me. And it's going to be a good time. Jeremy will even be there. I'll be there. Hopefully. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm if free. You, if you would like, as long as he's free, Jeremy will be there. Otherwise... It'll be just you and Will Meneker. It will be. And I'm going to do a coordinated dance with someone. Don't say that. Do, cut that. We, we're going to cut that out because we're not. <laughs> we don't want to commit for sure to the coordinated dance. I don't want people to know about it. I think I might really lean into it. Um, uh, if you want more of our show, every Thursday we have bonus episodes. We go on other websites: Facebook.com, Reddit.com, TikTok.com, New York Post for several weeks in a row. <laughs> Uh, you're going to want to check that out. It's patreon.com slash core We survive thanks to listeners like you. <laughs> and in the meantime, uh, we'll see you next week. Oh, wait. We never asked a question. What's the question you want to ask Quora? What's the so question quick. you want to ask Quora? Oh, good question. <laughs> um, who's What's a it? celebrity that could come to your door uh, who, who's dead? <laughs> no, that's nothing. <laughs> no? Um... Which uh, celebrity ghost would you most no, no, want I to was come saying, to your door? No, no, no. I'm saying let's think of one. Oh, okay. I see. Like who is let's... a celebrity that we would want to ask about coming to someone's door? What yeah, if Genghis Julia Khan? Julia Child. Sure. Oh. Yeah. What well, would you cook her? <laughs> okay. So Julia Child comes to your door. What would you cook her? Asking for food. <laughs> what would you cook her? Asking for food to judge. There you go. To judge. To be clear, it's to judge the food. <laughs> All right, we remembered the question. So Great. that's it for the show now. Now we're really done. Now we're done. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. As bye. always, Alex's real name is Alberto Mysterio. Vaya con Dios!